Amen. Amen. Good morning to each and every one of you and our listening audience. This is the Higher Ground Outreach Church of God in Christ coming to you live from 132 Bank Street right here in the city of Suffolk, Virginia. And we're yet proclaiming Hosanna. Yes, we got our palm leaves. Let me see your palm leaves, everybody. Amen. And as they came into Jerusalem, oh, Jesus is triumphant entry. And Jesus, knowing what his mission to be to accomplish was to be, he comes into Jerusalem and they lay palm leaves and clothing on the streets as he entered into the gates into the streets of Jerusalem. And we're yet proclaiming this morning, Hosanna, yeah. blessed be the rock yes. of our salvation. Yeah. We give God the praise and we give him the glory. Thank God for his blood sacrifice. Come on, give the Lord a praise if you can. Glory to God. We give the thanks to the Lord this morning. God has blessed us to come together in heavenly places one more time in Christ Jesus. And we give God the glory and we give him the praise of how he has kept us and how he has watched over us and how he's yet making ways for us and open the doors for us. We thank God for his benefits in our lives. Amen. And that's our manner is each and every Sunday morning we come before you, we open up with prayer. And I want this morning to be a special prayer in respect of the fact that many of us, even though we're in a celebrating oh, yeah. mode and in the lift and see, but yet people are yet going through. Yes, sir. There are yet deaths and things by which are happening and which life oh, yeah. and the vicissitudes of life have happened to us all. Yeah. And we deal with these things from week to week. But oh, yeah. yet still, he is yet our rock. Yeah. He is yet the rock of our salvation. Our hope is yet in him, and we yet magnify him and give him the praise. So regardless of whatever your situation is today, I know that you can go to the rock. Somebody said, where do you go when there's nobody else to turn to? Who do I talk to when nobody else want to listen? Who do I lean on when there's no foundation stable? Somebody help me say, I go to the rock. I go to the rock. I know he's able. I go to the rock. So we're going to the rock this morning. Hallelujah. Whatever your situation might be, knowing that you can take it to God in prayer. With your heads bowed and your eyes closed. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, here we are once again. And God, here we stand, needing your help, needing your strength, needing your power, needing your anointing. God, move on us right now. In the name of Jesus, God, we come to you today. Even as an empty picture before a full fountain, fill us today. In the name of Jesus, we need you now. We can't make it without you, Lord. Look on these mothers. Lord, look on these families, even on today, that have lost their loved ones. And God, we praise you now that even after this, there shall be glory after this. Even after the trauma and after the trial, God, you have a way of making it all right. You have a way, oh God, of bringing us out all right. And we give you the praise and we give you the glory. Have your way today in the midst of this service. Have your way, Lord, even now as we come before you. Lord, as we come before you, Lord, needing your strength and needing your help even now. We cry out to you, Lord, you are the help. You are our strength. You are our help today in times of trouble. Hallelujah, Father. We can go to you. We can look to the hills from which cometh our help. Our help indeed coming from you. Touch us now, each and every one of oh God, that under the sound of our wee voices, and even those that are listening, God, through by way of Facebook, touch them, God, in their situation. God, many of them are dealing with infirmities in their bodies. Touch and deliver, God, as only you can. I know you're able. You can do it right now. Do it for the glory. Do it for your glory. Do it for your glory. Do it for your glory. Do it because you can. And God will bless you. We'll praise you. We'll magnify you. We'll give you the glory. Bless now, even in our communities, in our neighborhoods. God, we come against that spirit of murder and ruthlessness. Oh, God, we bind it today. In the name of Jesus, save us, Lord. Save us, Lord. Protect us, Lord. Hallelujah. Protect us, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. We thank you now for what you've already done. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing right now. Bless us now, God. Look on these mothers and fathers. Oh, God, these are some uncles. We're praying for our relatives, God, our family, our extended families, oh, God. 
our church family. Lord, look on our tribes in our communities, oh God. Save them, oh God. Deliver them now in the name of Jesus. Don't allow the enemy to destroy us. But God, we pray, God, that we would not be sifted as wheat. But God, we pray that you would uphold us, that you would strengthen us now. In the name of Jesus, I know that you can. You able right now, God. Touch our hearts, oh God. Men the moon the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I know that you can. You able right now, God. You able right now. Move in a supernatural way. Bless each and every one, oh God that have made their petitions known, yes, that have put their beliefs out, oh God, yes, in response, Lord, we need your help. Yes, we need your strength, yes, and we need your power. Yes, Touch us right now, yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, and God, we praise you for what you've already done. Yes, we thank you now, God, yes, for what you're doing right now. We yes, the glory. Yes, Hallelujah for what you're gonna do. Lord, our hope is in you, our confidence in you. Save somebody today. Yeah. Fill somebody with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Uh, anoint some fresh. Yeah. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Lord, I know that you can. Uh, in this new season, the God that we've been in, uh, let this be a new beginning for somebody, Lord. Uh, let this be a fresh start for somebody. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Lord, we put our trust in you. We put our confidence in you. Knowing, God, that you can do anything but fail. Do it for your glory. Do it for your namesake. Do it because you're God. And we'd be so thankful and so grateful to give your name the praise. These and all of the blessings we ask in Jesus' name. And for his sake, have me say thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Lord, you are my strength. Y'all help me sing that. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reach out to me. If you know you need your strength, come on, help me say, You are my strength. Mm -hmm. Strength like no other. scripture for us this morning. Let's say amen for us. You come. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning. We'll be reading from Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfy thy mouth 
with good things yes. so that thy youth is renewed oh, yes. like the eagles. Yes. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Mm -hmm. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. Psalms 103, the word of the Lord for the people of God. Amen. Come on, let's say thank God for the word. Amen. 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 We give God the praise. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Help me say, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we're going to rejoice. Come on, say it like you really mean it. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. We give God the praise. And we give him the glory. The Lord has done great things for us. We love you glad. Somebody say, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We thank God that you could have joined us on this morning and ask that you will continue to like and to share as we go forth in the service today. We were expecting great things of the Lord. We spoke on last week and talked about great expectation. We're looking for great things. And if you can if you can believe it, you can receive it. So we believe in God today that as we move right up to our apex of our Christian experience and uh, the culmination of what really what it is that we believe in, the death, burial, and resurrection, and the ascension of our our Lord and Savior Absolutely. Jesus Christ. We're looking for the Lord to bless us as we commemorate Amen. and we remember the extreme suffering and dying of our Lord and Savior Jesus Lord. Christ. We ask that you would join us in our celebration even on this morning as we move toward that particular yeah. culmination on next Sunday, which is Resurrection Sunday. Y'all yeah. help us say Resurrection Sunday. Resurrection We're Sunday. moving in that direction, knowing yeah. that it was for us that he died. Yeah. And we ask that you would keep that in mind as you go through your daily occupations and don't forget about the suffering, don't forget about the passion that went into us yeah. being able yeah. to enjoy yeah. the benefits yeah. of our Lord yeah. this morning. Good, thank God for his blessings upon our lives. He did for us what we could not do for ourselves. Amen. Amen. And by way of announcements, I would like to mention very quickly that we're going to be celebrating on next this coming Friday with our Good Friday because yeah. Sunday is Easter. Right. We're going to be having service in-house. Amen. Y'all have to say in-house. Yeah. In-house. Our Good Friday service will take place uh, beginning at 7.30 uh, p.m. So keep that in mind yeah. uh, and judge yourselves accordingly. We're looking for everybody yeah. to come and be a part yeah. of that service. Invite somebody out. It's a good Friday. Amen. Amen. It's going to be a good time of celebration Amen. and commemoration. We're going to be singing some songs and some words going to be spoken to encourage your heart and let Amen. it know that he, for us that he died. And we need to always keep that in the forefront of our mind. Amen. Amen. So keep, do that for us. And then, of course, each and every Sunday morning is our morning worship service. And we come to you live at the 1030 hour. But beginning before that, we have our Sunday school that begins at 9 o'clock a.m. Oh, yeah. And we invite each and every one of you to be a part of the Sunday school. I'm excited about Sunday school. Amen. Amen. That's how I got saved for real, for real, as they say. And I learned in the Sunday school, going over the scripture with the teacher and having the input from the other person that attended. And it's for us as from the cradle to the grave. Yeah. So you never really outgrow Sunday school. I don't know. I don't understand yeah, right. people to feel like they know it all and got it all, all the answers. Yeah. But if you got all the answers, come and help us that don't have all the answers. Y'all yeah. with me this morning. Come help somebody else. Look at somebody and say, come help somebody else. Amen. And share your knowledge and experience with them so that they might grow and they can be able to mature in the Lord as you have matured. So bless us. Be with us on Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. And then at 1030 uh, p.m. we're going to be in our morning worship service. And that's your Facebook Live, of course. And we are on the air until we go off the air. And do the Lord say so. If there's that time by which we have to be off the air, we're going to stay on there as long as we want to. We can say, Lord, have your way. Whatever way you speak fit, Lord, have your way. And then on Tuesday at the 12 noon hour, we have our intercessory prayer. Amen. That begins at the 12 noon. Of course, it's listed on your screen now. And you can go right to our website address, which is www.hdocogic.com. Uh -huh. You can join right in with our, um, with our prayer and intercessory prayer. God knows they be calling and sending up some tenders on that particular time of the day. And what a better time to come together at the 12th right. hour. Amen. Whenever all of the hustle and bustle of the morning has passed. And Amen. then you're facing the latter part of the day. Come and talk to God uh, with the saints and the intercessory prayer at 12 noon. Amen. And that takes place each and every Tuesday and each and every Friday uh, at the same time. So be a part of that service. And then on Tuesday night, y'all help me say Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Tuesday night is our Bible study, prayer and Bible study. And you can 
can join us as well uh, at that same website address, and that's www.hgocogic.com. And you can join right in with our services. The yeah. access code are listed on our screen, so it's yeah. not a stranger. You don't have to be a stranger, but just join in. We'll be glad to have Amen. you to join us. Amen. Amen. So we're going to be talking about the word of the Lord, not about our opinion, Amen. not about what the popular opinion right. is, but we're talking about what the Lord said. Yeah. We didn't hear so many voices. We've heard so many voices now, that's time for us to hear what does say the Lord. Amen. So join us in that service. And we appreciate each and every gift uh, and contribution that you have made uh, to us and to this ministry. And you can do so even now as we speak. Uh, you can go right to our website address or go right to our Givelify app on your phone. Yes. And you can go to the dollar sign CCEFC and you can make your tithe and offering contribution. We appreciate those persons. And I must say this, that even during the pandemic time, they were yet supported. Uh, we yet received your offering. And I appreciate that because sometimes people believe that out of sight, out of mind. Right. And because I'm not here, that doesn't mean our bills don't roll on. Right. Guess what? Bethco still sent us a bill. That's right. Even though we wasn't in the house. Amen. Amen. The water people still wanted their, their they wanted their yeah. bill paid. And I was like, we're not even here, but yet it's still we got a bill. Yeah. So I appreciate that to help us to keep on rolling on. Amen. So you may do that. Go right to your phone now and go to the Givelify app. And you can go right to the Higher Ground Outreach Church. Yeah. Uh, that is 132 Bank Street, the only one on Bank Street, and make your contribution with your tithe and with your offering. And I understand that sometimes people cannot get here. And I know that circumstances sometimes prevent us from getting here. But those that are here, we're going to be giving across the table. And even while you're here, you can give them, get on your phone. And that's the beauty of technology. Amen. You can get on your phone while I'm talking right now. We can hear the dollars. We can hear the cha-ching come across the airway. Yeah. Amen. As you give and as you support the service of the Lord. And I think we ought to support that which we believe in. Amen. Yeah. Some folks say they believe in the church, but they won't support the church. I don't understand that, but I say, God, because you have been so good to me, yeah. how could I dare me not be good to you Amen. and respond in kind? Amen. Amen. The Lord has blessed us. How many of you can really say the Lord has blessed you? Yes, I see some weak hands out there, but I'm saying I raise my come out yeah. with my hands up. Because I can remember just four years ago. Yes, and can I just testify for yes, a moment? Four years ago, I think my wife would have been a widow four years oh, time Jesus. back. But let him say, but God. But God. But God delivered me. Hallelujah. God delivered me. Just four years ago, I was dealing with a situation that we didn't know how it was going to turn out. But God, God gave me another chance. I can never forget the God Almighty. What the Lord had done for me. Amen. They had really didn't look good. Didn't look good for the home team, as they say. But God intervened. And God gave, hallelujah. God gave me another chance. I've been winning ever since. I've been telling my story everywhere I go because they had pronounced that I would not make it out of my situation. But the saints came together. Good God Almighty. The saints came together. Amen. They marched around the hospital. Glory to God. I got to testify about this. Because I know it was God. There was rolling bodies past my room. I was in a negative pressure room with a glass enclosure. And they that's pre-vaccine uh, time. They was test, they was working on people and experimenting on people. And I saw them rolling people up by my I said, oh God, don't let that be me. Glory to God, don't let that be me. As I saw the families going behind their loved ones that had passed on because the hospital staff didn't know what to do. They didn't know how to approach the issue that was going on and what to treat it. They were putting people on the ventilator. I told my wife, don't put me on the ventilator. Amen. I said, when I was able to talk, I said, resuscitate, but do not ventilate. Y'all hear this? <laughs> and they get to a point that they can't resuscitate me. Please don't put me on that ventilator. And God knew that was a recipe for my deliverance. Because had they been put me on the deliver on that ventilator, I wouldn't be talking to you today. But him and say, but God. Oh, hallelujah. But God. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God delivered me. And I thank God for the babies and for the mothers as they marched around the hospital. And they came to me and take all who them folk out there. I said, them my folk. This is God folk. They got together and said, Lord, deliver our pastor. Deliver my husband. Deliver my daddy. Deliver him, God. Hey, hallelujah. Glory to God. And God did just that. God did it. Y'all have to say, God did it. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
God did it. And I'm here to testify that if he did it for me, he'll do it for you. And I come to the conclusion that if you can have it, God can heal it. Tell somebody, say, if you can have it, God can heal it. Come on, give the Lord a praise. I'll be a good for all. in the machine, couldn't get my hand. Didn't know what was going on with them. Wouldn't let my wife talk to me. Kept everybody away from me. But God, heaven say, but God. God delivered me. And I'm grateful for what the Lord has done. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. I'm grateful for what the Lord has done. So I can never forget. And I say sometimes we just need to tell folk. Because folk don't, don't know sometimes. Right. If you don't tell them how, they're going to know. That's right. So that's why I'm telling them, Mother Jeff. I'm going to tell them every time they ask. I'm going to tell them. If they don't want to hear it, don't ask me. <laughs> so I'm going to tell them. Because I know it was God. I know it was God. And I'm standing here today. I never Thank you, Thank you, Lord, by the grace of God. Thank God for his mercy. God have mercy on me. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for what the Lord has done. Amen. You're in for a treat today. <laughs> but uh, y'all had that was my sidebar. As I said, I can't, I can't help but tell what the Lord has done. And I'm not the only one. Don't get it twisted. Look at somebody say, don't get it twisted. Some of y'all got some testimonies too. And y'all need to tell them too. Amen. You need to tell them. You need to tell them. So they think God's still not in the healing business. But I'm a witness that God is still in the healing business. He is God's Jehovah's brother. He will heal you. He will deliver you. He'll deliver your mind. He'll touch your body. He'll deliver your soul. Come give the Lord a praise. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. But we're really, really good, blessed and excited today by what the Lord has done for us. And I thank God for our speaker on this morning. Yeah. Amen. And I thank God for Elder Michael Eden. Amen. Come on. Amen. I, I wanted to do this today. And uh, he's not just a ram in the bush, but he's a good help. And he helps us all over this place. Amen. And I appreciate him. And I, today will be my first time of having the privilege and the opportunity to introduce him as the associate Assistant Pastor of the Higher Ground. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Abby. Assistant Pastor here at the Higher Ground Outreach Church of God in Christ. Come on, take God for him. Take God. We appreciate him. Amen. And the, the decision was, was unanimous. When we brought it to the attention of the congregation, they said, oh, sure, let's do that. We should have moved on it. <laughs> Amen. But I thank God that it's not too late. But God has blessed him to be a part of his ministry and his family for, for quite some time now. And I said, well, well, what do you think about it? He said, well, what does the Lord say? I said, well, I think the Lord is saying this right now. Amen. He's an anointed man of God. An anointed teacher and preacher 
of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And I thank God for him and for his godly example yeah. and his stick to itness. Yeah. 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 I don't know if that's in the dictionary, yeah. but no, I just right. made it up. His stick to itness. Yeah. Right. But some folk don't have the stick ability to yeah. stick with stuff long enough yeah. to seek the fruition. But I thank God for this God man that he had stuck yeah. with it and had been consistent in his Christian walk. Amen. And he's going to share with you today. I was talking to someone the other day, um, and I'm just saying this comically, because they're saying, well, when you're not there, they carry on just like y'all right there. I said, that's what they spoke to. Amen. Right. That's what they spoke to. Right. Amen. I don't, I don't have to be here because I'm not a, a full package in myself. Right. Right. We are helpers one yeah. of another. Right. Amen. If I could do it all, there would be no need for you all. Amen. But I realize that I cannot do it all. Amen. But God has blessed us with him, and Amen. we appreciate his help and his godly yeah. input that he brings to this high ground church yeah. family. Yeah. So without any further ado, yeah. I'm going to present to some and introduce yeah. to others the assistant pastor of the high ground <laughs> outreach. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> and I love him, amen. I love him. There ain't nothing funny about that either. <laughs> but I love him and I thank God for him. And I appreciate none other than Elder Michael Eaton, amen, assistant pastor of the High Ground Outreach Church. And I think we got a selection that's coming from his only daughter. It's just his favorite daughter. That's his only one. Amen. And his favorite daughter is going to come and get this selection. And after which, the next speaking voice you hear of that, I'm none other than Elder Michael E. Bless him. Amen. 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 I don't mind waiting. Yes, yes. I don't mind waiting. Yes. I don't mind waiting yes. on you, Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. We're 
Yes, Lord. That you bless us and you brought us out. In the name of Jesus. Look upon us tonight. We need your help. Thank you today for all that you're doing. And all that you shall continue to do for us, we be so careful to give you the praise. The honor is thine. In Jesus' name. Amen. We are. Thank you for the privilege. Thank God for the selection. We praise God. Amen today for uh, Pastor Carter. Amen. We are grateful, we are praying uh, for him and to uh, the church family, to Sister Carter, uh, to uh, all of the ministry, brothers and sisters, to my wife. It's just a privilege to be uh, in the house of God. We are indeed grateful, amen, for a sacrifice. Amen. That I'm appreciative of. Yes. But I do not understand the depths of it. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Come on now. Amen. Yes, sir. Since we have trouble forgiving each other. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. All right. Since God sometimes even has to chastise yes. us at times yes, to get us back in the right mode to forgive each other. He so willingly went to the cross in spite of, in spite of. who we were, uh -huh. what we were, Amen. Amen. and did it freely. Yes, sir. And then gave us a name that is above every name. Amen. 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 And called us to be his son. Yes. We are grateful indeed for yes. the grace and the mercy of our Lord. Thank God today for all. Uh, the, the privilege to serve Amen. and, and Amen. to uh, be in the house of God. I I, I remember the late uh, J. O. Patterson yes. when he said that he was amazed at how people were uh, jumping in front of each other, want to be seen. And he said, it's just like getting on a plane. Yeah. He said, the people who are in first class, yeah. the nose may come up first. Yeah. That's it. But when the plane come down, yeah. the back come down first. Yeah. He said, so whether you go up first, but we all come down together. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just glad to be, yeah. amen, on the plane. I don't have to be the pilot. I don't have to be the host. Oh, yeah. I'm glad to be on the plane. That's good. Amen. There's not but one head of the whole church. And when he comes back, he's going to rapture everybody. Those that have gone long before me, we're going to be caught together to meet the Lord in the air. I praise God today for a word that I believe that hopefully will be a help to us. Yes. And 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 and, and this verse from Hebrews uh, thirteen and eight mm -hmm. yes. kept coming to my spirit. Amen. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, yes. uh -huh. today, and for. Evermore. It looked like uh, the older I get, the more I'm trying to rationalize and get a better understanding out of every word. And that, Lord, you said you're the same. Amen. Amen. Yesterday, yes. today, yes. and forever. Do you always work the same? No. No. Okay. But do you always work it out? Yes. yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God yes. has shown us. Uh, 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 the little the little children uh, of Sister Fields. Mm -hmm. 
daughters <laughs> sang a song, and, and I'm wondering in my heart, and, 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 and that little thing touched me and opened my eyes again. I'm wondering, is it possible we could sing a song that we are really not even acquainted with? All right. All right. Amen. All right. All right. And she said, this little light of mine. Yes. Yes. I'm going to let it shine. Yes. But then the other verse said, everywhere I go. Yes. Where is it that you go yes. that people can see that you are who you say you are? Yes. Where is it that you go that people can see the difference in you? Yes. All right. Amen. Amen. And when she said, everywhere I go, Amen. I'm going to let this light shine. Amen. And now, Jesus uh, did things that it, it, it looked like we don't touch. I'm not talking about this ministry here. That we don't put a lot of emphasis on. Uh -huh. right. The church seemed to have a problem mm -hmm. with having a social life. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did not Jesus do, mm -hmm. go to the wedding at Canaan? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. did he not mingle at that wedding? Yes, he did. Amen. I know there was a lot of unsaved folk there. How do you know? Because a lot of them got drunk. Was he not a guest at Simon's house? Yes. He was. They were a bunch of critics. Yes. Amen. They were a bunch of opinionated, yes. high aristocrats. Uh -huh. Did he not go to the publican and the sinner's house? Uh -huh. Sat down and ate with them. Amen. Amen to my. Amen. Did he not amen, walk among sane and unsaved people? Yes, he did. did he not go into countries that didn't even know who he was? Amen. And even ousted him when he began to preach? Yes. So how is it that, amen, we're trying to preach to Jesus that we don't fully believe in? I want to share a, a few verses with you All right. and, 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 and hoping that it would uh, uh, open our understanding. And, and this is how the Lord gave it to me. Uh -huh. Since I'm the same yesterday, today, and for evermore. Uh -huh. Deuteronomy All right, sir. 28. Come on. Now, how does this apply to us in every way? God foresaw us uh -huh. in Abraham. Yes. And everywhere uh, 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 Abraham was, I will bless the seed of Abraham. Yes. Amen. 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 And we are part of Christ's seed. Yes. So we are part of uh, uh, the, the, the offspring of the Abrahamic blessing. Amen. Not only that, but Hebrews, I mean, 6 and 8 said we have a better covenant. Yes, a stronger covenant. One that cannot be broken. One that's not based on our promises. It's not based on our obedience, but Christ's obedience. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. And so, whatever God gave to them, we have it better. Amen. And I don't mean our language better. I mean Christ's language better. And this is what God gave it to them. A few verses. Beginning at the uh, 18th, the 28th uh, chapter, verse 1. And it came, and it shall come to pass. If you shall hark, if you shall hark diligently unto the voice of the Lord yes. your God, yes. to observe and to do all His commandments, yes. which I command you this day, yes. that the Lord your God will set you on high yes. above all 
nations of the earth. Yeah. It's based on your obedience yes. at that time to observe whatever the Lord said. And all these blessings shall come on you and overtake you yes. if you shall hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed yes. shall you be in the city and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body and the fruit of your ground and the fruit of your cattle mm -hmm. and the increase of your kind mm -hmm. and the flocks of your sheep. Mm -hmm. Blessed shall be your basket mm -hmm. and your store. Blessed shall be when you come in mm -hmm. and blessed shall you be when you go out. Mm -hmm. The Lord shall call your enemy mm -hmm. who rise up against you to be spitting mm -hmm. before your face. Mm -hmm. They shall come out against you mm -hmm. one way and she have been flee before you so these promises God gave to Israel based on the Abrahamic covenant yes. the covenant that we have with Christ said if you love me keep my commandments yes. and Jesus said as we read it I come that you can have life but I want you to have it more See, what he gave them here, I want you to have the same life more abundantly. Mm -hmm. Now, fast forwarding a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When God brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, mm -hmm. from the time that he delivered them out of Egypt, God protected them. He fought for them. Yes. Mm -hmm. He fed them. Yes, sir. He clothed them. He gave them water for 40 years. Yes, Everything that they needed, God did it. Yes. Pastor Fat checked me. Uh -huh. Everywhere that they went, God fought for them. Yes. A bunch of farmers, amen, got the victory over mighty nations. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. And God delivered them until they got into the promised land. And when they got into the promised land, they had enough, amen, I believe that the word said for the first year. And then the second year. And then after that, they had to work. All right, sir. Y'all with me so far? Yes. God did it all until that they were mature, strong enough. Able enough, I moved all your enemies out the way. Oh, yeah. I took all the obstacles out the way. Yeah. I moved everything out the way. Now you can go to work. Yes. I done went as far as I can go. Yes. Yes. Now you got to plant. Mm -hmm. You got to harvest your land. You got to plow the land. Yes. 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 Amen. And now God has provided for us that Jesus came on the scene later. Amen. Uh -huh. And and while he walked with the disciples, the Pharisees criticized him yes. and said, uh, "Can the children of the bridegroom mourn as long as the, the, the bride chamber mourn and the bridegroom is with them?" Jesus said, "There will come a time. Right. See, but right now I'm the head of it. I'm taking care of them. But when I'm gone, then they shall." Amen. Are you with me so far? I'm the same yesterday. Yes, I look at the many times Jesus directly or God directly in the Old Testament healed. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Amen. Yes. I mean directly healed. Yes, whatever plagues came on, whatever disease came on, God healed. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 And, and now I'm wondering, I'm saying, God are you still healing? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you still raising the dead? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When Jesus came on the scene, uh -huh. we saw him doing killing many yes. that were plagued with various diseases. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Even the widow woman of Nain was on the way to bury her son. Yes. And Jesus met up with the funeral procession. Mm -hmm. And saw the woman, amen, grieving with her only son. And stopped the funeral procession yes. and touched that casket. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. that boy and gave her back to the mother. Yes. Amen. We, 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 we have been taught so many times, that, and I believe the word, that the woman with the issue pressed through the crowd and physically touched the border of a human yes. Yes. And she was healed. We watched him Go to the centurion's house yes. where his servant was grievously vexed. Uh -huh. yes. And the man said, I'm not even worthy that you should even come with mouth, but speak the word. Yes. 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 And when the word got there, the servant was healed. Oh. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so here we find again, praise God, yes. that. There was the centurion little girl, mm, Jairus' daughter, and the mourners yes. were there. Yes. Amen. And that they were uh, mourning uh, the death. They were professional mourners. Yes. Amen. Yes. And 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 and. Yes. Yes. And while that they was there doing what they were doing. You know, giving their uh, condolences. And Jesus walked in and, and said, uh, She's not dead, she's sleeping. Ignorance laughed at it. Amen. Amen. To the point where he got ashamed at them laughing and he said, Put them out. Amen. Okay, well, Lord, okay, I'm seeing that. I, I, I'm seeing that you healed many and you cast out devils. I said, Lord, I, I see that in your word. I said, but Lord, I don't see it now. Mm. Oh you said you were the same. Woo. Yesterday. That's right. Today. That's right. And forevermore. Amen. I've seen the Lord. Uh -huh. I was in the service. Amen. And, 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 and the servant was anointed. Amen. And, and 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 one of the uh, 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 speaker was there, mm -hmm. and she walked in on crutches, mm -hmm. and one leg had swollen, so she had twisted her leg. And when she got up and she got the floor, and she said, she told the church, whatever happened, don't touch me. And she got up, amen, and she opened her mouth and saying. Pressure go hot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take my hand and lead me on. And the service got anointed. Yes, sir. And after she sang, she sat down. Come on. And after the service went on and they introduced her as a speaker, she got up without the crutches. Walked in front of the church, put both my legs side by side. And she didn't tell me which one of my legs was for. That was the late evangelist Geraldine Smith. Right. Oh, yeah. So I before I, I know that the Lord is in here. Uh -huh. But he doesn't do it the same way. That's right. Amen. 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 Watch this. I'm glad for Pastor Carter's testimony. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. I'm glad for Mother Jefferson's testimony. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. I'm glad for Deacon Lassiter's yeah. testimony. Yeah. 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 We know it happened. Yeah. But listen, he is the same God. Same, right? Amen. Same. And, 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 and when, when, when he was diagnosed, amen, with that bilateral cancer, yeah. could God heal? Yes. Yeah. 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 But I chose not to do it the same way. I let him go in the best hospital in the world. Yes, I got another way of getting my message.
new cross. I let the best doctors in the world look at a condition that they are shaking their head with. Teach it, teach it. I let the best doctors in the world experiment. Amen. On one of mine. Amen. I let the best doctors in the world. And then diagnose him and listen at this. His testimony said the first uh, uh, anesthesiologist yeah. and he told I have trouble yeah. and with anesthesia. Yeah. And for some reason he got called off and did not relay the message. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And go. Come on. <laughs> By his great working power the man ministered the drug. He went under. Not yeah. knowing yeah. what the first doctor knew. Yeah. Right. That's right. And God allowed his servant yeah. to go under. Yeah. And his testimony was that after they were trying to wake him, yeah. and he said, and they shook him. Yeah. Yeah. They said, Mr. Carter, you're scaring me. And God, in a miraculous way, touched him, spoke to him in his spirit, and said, Fight! Hallelujah! And God let the testimony on the doctor's heart through him about the power of God. Yes, yes, yes. Amen, somebody. Can God do it? Yes. Yes, you yes. can. Yes. And I need to leave a word amen, to the people in authority who think it's all based on me. And God let them see, amen, I'm the man behind the scene. Mother Jefferson has told me many times she went, amen, to the hospital. And the doctors are wondering and scratching their head, how can this be oh, yeah. that you're doing all of this and you're still functioning? Thank yeah. yeah. you, yeah. Her testimony was that it still is that, Lord, I need to perform surgery. No, you're not. You're not. Mm -hmm. She called upon this thing. Yeah. And right there in the oh, hospital, yeah. the doctor can get witness, say, I don't even know how that you even came through. He's the same. Yes, he is. What are you trying to say? The Lord did for us uh -huh. while I was a child. Yes, yes. Amen. But then when I went back to glory, mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to give you power. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I got to stop waiting on God to do everything. Uh -huh. Now, yeah. you got to do it. Watch this. Watch this. Now, the Lord said, when I was speaking to the people in parable, uh -huh. the disciples said, Lord, why do you speak to us in parable but not to the church, the congregation. He said, unto you, unto the disciples, listen to this. I'm giving to you to know the mystery. But unto them, I speak in parables. Why? Because they don't want to know. My God. Y'all with me so far? Yes. He said, unto you, I give the kingdom. The key to the king. Yeah. But not to them. That's yeah. right. That's right. Unto you, I'm speaking yeah. clarity. Yeah. Because I want you to know the mystery yeah. of the church. Yeah. And not them. That's right. That's right. You're with me so far. Yeah. Unto you, yeah. amen. I am the light of the world. Uh -huh. After me, when I'm resurrected, then you will be the light. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, yes. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, 
I've been thinking about this scripture, Luke 18 and 1. We're familiar with it. The widow, watch God, went before that unjust, ignorant, hardcore judge. We said, though I feel not God nor regard man, I see this widow coming to me needing my help and I'm deliberately ignoring her. Yes. Now watch this now. Yes. And, 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 and because God, I believe, is trying to draw another picture to me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. Look at how. Amen. God got unjust people over you. Uh -huh. yes, no. Being bribed by high officials. But only prayer got between him and that judge and troubled his country. Could God put a righteous judge in that? Yes. yes. But why not let that mean judge? Because I, mean, I want you to be a testimony. Yes. Mm. Yes. Ooh, Jesus. Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, well. You're with me so far. Yes. Yes. Fast forward, Matthew chapter 13. Uh -huh. Let's go there for a minute. Jesus wanting us to know, amen, that in that verse, amen, uh, about uh, the wheat and the tail. Uh -huh. I'm concentrating mainly on the 24th verse of chapter 13. Amen. Uh, Many times that we actually said that I'm waiting on God. In some senses, you're right. But in the majority of the sense, God is waiting on you. Yeah. <laughs> Ellen Carter preached the message, amen, said when God, uh, I believe, move, amen, uh, uh, when God gives the answer, you got to move. Okay. All right, now, yeah. when God, amen, after he Brought Israel out. Mm -hmm. And I've taken you as far as I need to go. Uh -huh. Amen. I fed you, clothed you, fought in for you, uh -huh. delivered you. Everything you need, I gave it to you. Yeah. Okay. Now, amen, the promised land is yours. Uh -huh. Now you go to work. Mm -hmm. You got to plow that land. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. But you got to depend upon me and the way I lead you to how to keep the enemies off your back. That's you're with me so far. Amen. Now, Jesus has told us, I'm giving you the keys to my kingdom. Yes, the world don't have the keys. Amen. So why are we taking the back seat while people who are not in covenant with God are doing what we're supposed to do? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you with me so far? Amen. I hope this is clear. Amen. The 24th verse of Matthew 13. Another parable put it forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. is likened unto a man, which is Christ, mm -hmm. which sowed good seed mm -hmm. in his field. His field. All right. So I went forth preaching and teaching. And those who Heard my word, came to me. You became my field servant. I'm leaving you in charge. I'm giving you instruction. So uh, I, 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 I'm preaching the word. Everybody heard it, but not many people responded. Mm. So the kingdom of heaven is likened to a man that went to sow. Now, good seed. Nothing polluted about it. But I sowed it in my field. And said, amen, I won't hire anybody to work in my field like anybody can't lead the church. Amen. 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 That's good. You got a lot of people qualified, amen, but they're not God's uh, uh, leaders in the church. He said, but cry men slept. Uh -huh. mm. His enemy came. And so tears 
among the wheat and went his way. We remember when Jesus was about to pray and he asked his disciples, oh, can you not watch one hour? <laughs> now, I, I, I remember a, a, a message that Pastor Carter taught some weeks ago. Amen. Uh, I'm on a job, but I'm asleep. I'm taking the man's money, but I'm asleep. I'm getting the hour, but I'm sleep. I don't be okay with what's going on as long as I get a paycheck. Jesus. It's bad when God gave you the key. I've given you the mystery of the key. I've given you how amen, to watch over my vineyard. How come nobody saw the devil come in? Uh -huh. why, why is that? Uh -huh. How is it that he came right in among people who are like, like supposed to blind him? Yes. He's not supposed to come in like that. He walks in unannounced. Yes. 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 He caught everybody in the only job, but not aware of what time it is. And the enemy came right into the church. Got on your good side. And poured in the church. My God, my God. Mm. Pastor Carter mm -hmm. shed uh, 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 his heart. Yes. He said, There's a lot of senseless killing, oh, my God. murdering our little children, yes. destroying the family, yes. destroying the foundation that makes the family work. Yes. Well, since I gave you the key, and gave you, amen, uh, in my kingdom. Right. All right. yes, yes, yes. How is it that we don't plan something, amen, to get our young children out the street? How can we sit back and let the world slaughter? Come on. How? Come on. The Lord said, in my word, I told the parents, you. Train up That's your children. Right. That's right. That's right. Our judicial system has said, I mean, that if you use what they say, corporal punishment, uh -huh. amen. Uh -huh. I'm going to put you in jail, but listen what they did. Uh -huh. I gave authority to your children, yeah. they can pack a gun yeah. and shoot you. And I blame you for the children shooting you, but I take the authority from you and give it to them. But God said, I told you. And their parents are intimidated about training up your child. And the children now tell some of these modern day parents, if you hit me, I call the daughter. Baby, amen, amen, I mean, or oh, call it my name because bam. <laughs> That's it. it. Amen. Amen. Pastor Carl, I remember. Hallelujah. I was a grown man. Yes. And I walked up to my late mother with a cigarette yes, in my hand. Yes, sir. She didn't say nothing. She walked up to me, stuck her chest out, and took her hand and snapped that cigarette out of my mouth. Yes. And then turned and said, I dare you to say anything about it. I dropped my head, and from that day, I said, Mama, I'm sorry. Amen. Even though I'm going, I disrespect you. And I remember it until this day. Yes, because I knew what she taught me. That's right. That's Come right. Come on. Amen. And I dare not retaliate. Amen. 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 Now we're letting the children in and get by because of what the state. Hallelujah. Yes, teach. Teach. But I've given you the key. Amen. How can you neglect what I say and take heed to what they're saying? Yes. And while the church is sleeping, the enemy is working on the couple. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. And they're planting spies to see what you think. Amen. And then, amen, I'm making it more difficult because I'm putting another type of fear in you to disobey God and to fear me. Yes. Amen. Yes. But since I understand the church has always been 
against the majority. God has always used the minority. Amen. I don't need a whole lot. I just need somebody to believe me. And now, amen, that the disciples, amen, after Jesus awakened them from their slumbering, now they want to correct a mistake, amen, that is full grown now. The time to train them is when, amen, yeah. uh, they, 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 that's yes, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on, Come on. Come on. And when that little child, amen, smack you, it's the smacking back. That's it. That's that sinful nature. That's it. Amen, somebody. Amen. No, that ain't cute. That ain't cute. Amen. 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 There are many verses that support what God said. Yeah. Amen. Uh uh. Spare the rod. Amen. That uh, it won't hurt him, the Bible teaches. He got plenty of padding back there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. 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 And you mean to tell me that you feel your neighbor? Amen. Because I'm going to let my little child tell me what time I'm going to come in your house? Come on. Talking, sir. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. You mean to tell me you're going to stand toe to toe? Amen. You, boy, you don't know me like that. Amen. Hey, amen, somebody. Amen. You be on the floor, amen. Wonder how you amen. got down there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talking right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Talking so, right. amen, that they want to know, Lord, when did this happen? When you were asleep. When you came to church. Amen. And that you will sit down so confident yes. at who I am, what I got. I'm not even looking at, amen, nobody else. And then I see the church got the opportunity that people come into our house. Amen. And they love the fellowship. They love the anointing, but we don't give them anything. Amen, son. Hallelujah. And if you don't give them anything, there's always something attractive. Always. Yes. 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 Amen. Right. Yes. Pastor, I'm still amazed. And after God brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, what made holiness so attractive that a mixed multitude decided to follow people? I don't know where they're going. I don't know how they're going to eat. Right. I ain't got no kinfolk among them. Right. I don't have no heritage among them. Right. But it may hold this so attractive that I'm going to go where they go. Yeah, they and even yet, I don't even know their God like that. Yeah. Really, but I want what he did, amen, to our house. Yeah. And so if he did that to protect his people, I would to, to serve the God that you serve. And the mixed multitude went out. With the Egyptians, okay. with, with the Israelites. And God not only brought Israel across the Red Sea, He brought the mixed multitude. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, how is it now that the church have lost its attractiveness? Yeah. Why is it now, amen, that when people used to come, amen, into the service of God, there was a conviction? Why is it now that people couldn't come and say, under this mighty power, even without feeling some kind of way. Uh -huh. Amen. Why did they now, even that people can come into our house and then be relaxed? Come on, uh -huh. Come on. Uh -huh. I gave you the keys. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But now the world now looks like it's leading. That's right. The world looks like it's got everything wrong to attract our people. Uh -huh. And you and I know this is the truth. If our children ever leave the, com uh, the comfort of this house and get a taste of the world and to see the other side that we refuse to give them, they get addicted to what seems right. Amen, amen somebody? Amen. And if they get addicted to that which seems right, amen, there's no antidote other than Christ to get them back. And if we don't, amen, uh, let them see, amen, we are a people, yes, I'm in the world to be the light of the world. Everywhere I go, amen, that I'm going to be going to the same place you go except the drug houses and, and, and the strip club. 
Amen. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I go to Walmart, they sell beer. Yes. Yes, they do. Yes. Okay. Amen. Hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. I pay by the liquor store and don't go in there. Amen. Everywhere I go, I'm facing sinners. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. I don't care what sports activity I go, I'm around good and bad people. Amen. Even when I come to the church. Amen. 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 Come on. But everywhere I go, I'm going to let this little light shine. Amen. Amen. I'm going to let you know, yes, yeah, I walk it all, um, among the same type people, uh, uh, among the same type of desires, among the same thing that I want what a slave in. Come on, yeah. come on, come on. Yeah. But now when people ask, do you see that? Yeah, I see it. Yes, I do. Do that bother you? No, it don't bother me now. Yeah. I'm delivered. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise Man, God. do you see that, Father? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it can't be compared to mine. That's right. Hmm, somebody. Amen. God, let's know Jesus said I was tempted. Yes. Oh. At some point. Oh. 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 Mm. All of it. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I go, somebody was hitting on it. Yes. Come on, y'all. Let's be real. Yes. Ready. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. How can I tell you I mean, how I overcome temptation uh -huh. if I won't hit on like that? Amen. Amen. Yes, Joseph was not the only one that was cornered. Right. It doesn't specifically spell out about it, but if Joseph was in a tight squeeze, Jesus would have been in a much tighter. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Right. yes. And like the time that, amen, that they were about to stone him. Yes. Or the time that the whole crowd or gather around him to throw him off a cliff. The Holy Ghost said that I, he disappeared amen, from them. Amen, somebody. Amen. But, amen, I sow good wheat yes. into my field. Yes. And then when I woke up, amen, tag was grown. Yes. And now, Lord, I want to try to fix your problem my way. <laughs> oh. The time to fix it is it, it before the enemy got in there. Amen. That's your job. Because yes. now I give you the key. We know where we come from. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We know the passions of our young people. Uh -huh. mm. yes. yes, sex is right, but it's wrong to do it before you get married. Amen. Well, come on, y'all. We know, baby. We know. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Now, it's time to educate our young children and our young men. Amen. Out here, yes, amen. And now, if the Lord allow the season to continue to progress, they're going to be halfway naked. Yes, they are. And eyes will be turning every which way. Amen. Praise God. And it's up to us, the church, yes. it's up to us to provide. The right entertainment. So if you're not gonna fix the problem, stop criticizing. Amen. Amen. Almost closed. So if I'm the same yesterday, today, if I provide a safe haven for you, amen, and I compel you to do the same thing, then why are we allowing our children to escape right before our hand? Then after they leave, we can't get them back. After the world, amen, uh, uh, done, uh, got them addicted yeah. to the wrong type of medicine. Yeah. Yep. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. And now, amen, I'm a drug addict to a system that I can't break. Yeah. Amen. I, 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 I listened, Pastor Carter, uh -huh. uh, at the young lady that you testified about, uh -huh. amen, that raised in a Christian home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But suppose I kept back everything that was rightfully uh -huh. right for me to share with you. Uh -huh. But then, amen, that I'm so strict on you that by the time I got out there, yes, I was wrong, but I got into some things that was over my head, amen, and now, amen, it's got me uh, falling for something, amen, and I can't get back. You mean that one? I'm going to beat you up? Yeah. 
Part of the fault. Amen. Look where we are. Amen. If we don't balance the life. Hallelujah. Yes, take them to church. But amen. But every time you get a chance, your children is your church. Yes. Spend time with them. Love them. Tell them you love them. Go places. Do things. Let them see what's around us. Provide the right way. Hallelujah. I'm letting you see what's in the world. Uh -huh. Amen. And so that when somebody tell you, baby, you look cute, amen, they ain't telling you nothing. Baby, you don't know. I told you that many times, and, and I'm exposing you to people. I'm letting you see now, amen, what the world think is love, and they're not even close. Amen. How can the world explain Amen. your God when God is love and they have no love even in their heart? Amen. Come on, Elder. Uh -huh. Come on, Elder. Are you right? I'm the same. Mm -hmm. yes, Yesterday. Yes, Today. Yes. And forevermore. Amen. Malachi 3 and 6. I'm the Lord thy God and I change it all. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why is it that the church? Amen. It's stuck somewhere. Mm -hmm. Amen. And don't want to change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why that the Lord God told you how I worked yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now I've empowered you Hallelujah. to do for yourself. I, I showed you how to do it. Yeah. Now it's up for you to do it. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Paul gave us a clue when I was a child. Mm -hmm. I spoke yeah, at, and did as a child. I Amen. Amen. No disrespect to no one because I got grown children. I said I'm not supporting grown children. Amen. Amen. I gave you every tool that you needed. Yes. Amen. Amen. Don't come begging to me, Amen, like I'm responsible. No. Amen. 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 He's right. Praise God. Uh -huh. Yes. So the church, Amen. Amen. Today, Amen. don't be sleeping on another man's job. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 God, God knows, Amen. Amen. That that I empowered you. Yeah. Yes. I brought you. I, I gave you everything that you need mm. yes. to do the job. That's right. I'm I'm concerned, and I and I told the Lord, Lord, now that you have opened my eyes, I said, Lord, I'm repenting. Mm. Yes. Because God, Amen. Uh, I, I'm looking for you to do what you charged me to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, I am the way. So I don't have to remake a way. It's in your word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is. And that if any two of you shall touch and agree on anything yes, they shall, that they shall touch on earth, it shall be so. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you know what? Mm. We got a lot of selfish people. Yes. The only thing I'm care about is me, myself, and mine. Yes. If I, I pray for it. Thank you, Pastor Carter. Amen. Yes, forward. Ho hope this has been enlightened. Mm -hmm. Yes. To all of us. I, 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 I'm looking at Lord. How can I be more effective? Mm -hmm. yes. How can I, Amen, uh, uh, allow someone who is without, Amen, mm -hmm. to come in here and then sit and enjoy, Amen, the fellowship of God? So mm -hmm. I just don't want to be a bystander. Mm -hmm. I don't want to let my life be in vain. So, Amen, we praise God. The sheriff said. Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're now in the very capable hands of, of the pastor, Pastor Cordell Carter. Let us say amen. 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 Search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. I want to be
Amen. The Lord has blessed us and has already given us the answer. And all the time, we don't even know it. And it's been just as simple as even, you know, a wayfaring man without error. As the scriptures are there. But I want to pray for you today before we are dismissed from this particular service. There may be someone in our midst that is not saved or oh might God. be a backslider that want to come back and is coming back to the basic yes, sentence sir. of our faith. Jesus already made it very plain. Jesus yeah. already gave us the key. Yeah. And we've seen it acted out in the scriptures. We've seen uh -huh. it with the sword and the, uh, the seed and the sword. He's already given unto us the necessary tools yes, that we need. Yeah. God already has done for us what we couldn't do for ourselves. Now Amen. is our time. It's up to us to place our faith and our trust in him. Uh -huh. Could it be one that says, maybe say, preach on a backslider. Oh, yeah. ready to come back to the fold. Yes. I've not done all that I'm supposed to do, but mm -hmm. I realize that I got to go back to the basic tenets of our faith. Uh -huh. I realize that I must give my life over and realize that I cannot do it in and of myself. Oh, my I need God to help me. Yes. I need him to do it right now. While yes. we're standing, and those that are listening to me on the radio, I mean, over the Facebook, Father, uh -huh. in the name of Jesus, we thank you now Hallelujah. for this opportunity. And God help us to even as he blessed Israel and gave them everything that they needed Hallelujah. in order to be successful. God, we've done the best that we can do. And many parents cry right now, God, I've done everything. I don't know what else to do, but God, I'm placing them in your hand. I'm placing my life in your hand. God, to do what need be done. Help me today, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I've fallen short, but God, I'm asking you, if you give me another chance, yeah. I'll walk with you. I'll, I'll do what you told me to do. Yeah. I'll go where you tell me to go. Hallelujah. I'll say what you tell me to say. Yeah. And Lord, we'll believe you. We'll stand on your promise. I'll give you the balance of my life. Yeah. I'll serve you. I'll live for you. Yeah. I'll walk up right before you. God, I'll do it if you give me another chance. Yeah. Bless them now. In Jesus' name we pray. And all the people of God said, Amen. Amen. Come on, let's thank God, everybody. Amen. Glory to God. Thank God for the word of you.